Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here and welcome to Make Fly Easy Mini Striver VTOL Plain Follow Edition. As part of my Plain Follow project, I'm going to be building and flying two planes that are going to test the Plain Follow in the air. And this is the first one of them. This is the Make Fly Easy Mini Striver VTOL 4 Plus 1 and it's a plug and play. Let's open up the box and see what's inside. Well, we've got stickers. That looks beautiful. I will um, most likely be using these stickers on the plane. That looks really pretty. I'll just put them out of the way for now. But uh, look at that. Make Fly Easy Striver Mini. We have also here some, looks like a little bit of a manual, but I also have the manual, the, the PDF. Yeah, that's the, this is the manual. It's a fairly simple and straightforward manual. Nothing extensive, not that it needs it, but it's got a fairly com comprehensive, as you can see, a wiring diagram. And there is also, let me see somewhere here, there's a spec sheet for the plane. Uh, here we go. So wingspan, 2100 millimeters, so two meters. Fuselage length, 1.2 meters. Flight speed, 17 to 20 uh, meters per second with a stall speed of 10 meters per second. They make a point of that several times, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to be careful of that. Max payload weight, seven or takeoff weight 7.5 kilograms and that's pretty much that in terms of specs and then this is basically just all the assembly information very cool now what we have in here is oh now that's that's kind of, oh that's really nice that is there's a whole bunch of little stickers in here for labeling cables now, I usually label all my cables and I just use a piece of sticky tape with the permanent markers. But um, here we have everything, I squared C, motor one, two, three, can, GPS. That's really very, very cool. Plus stickers for mounting on the different components as well. And uh, no touch stickers. This is such a simple thing, but honestly, I really like it. Okay, we've got a couple of carbon fiber sheets with containing various different components that will be uh, for mounting stuff on the fuselage. And I got a feeling that might be mounting for the flight controller. We shall see. This is nice. This is uh, 3M stickers specifically for adding strength to the wings around the VTOL motors and I have seen that before that is typically the place where a plane like this can fail so obviously they've been thinking ahead and so basically this will go around the wings to protect the wings and strengthen the areas where there's maximum stress on a VTOL so um, very very good that they've included that all right let's take a look at the equipment what we have here is, looks like a, okay, no, I'm going to take these pieces out first. So we've got our, our ESC, and this is a 50 amp ESC for the VTOL, and there will be four of these somewhere in here. And this is the big question with this. Okay, so I'll tell you this. With the Make Fly Easy Striver Mini, it comes in several flavors. It's pretty typical. One is a kit version. You get nothing. You have to put everything in. This one is the PNP version, where everything's the basic. All the basics are included, but you're going to have to add. I'm going to be adding a flight controller, which will be QIO Tech or Chio Tech Zealot H743 flight controller on its way. Thank you so much, Jason. And there will also be a GPS and an airspeed sensor and some other things, and I'll be adding all those in. What I have to do, though, is wire things up. And this was the big question. How much of it is pre-assembled? And like here we have our 
um, quick release VTOL beams for uh, mounting the, the VTOL motors onto the plane. So that's that basically clips on, that will install on the wing and this will be where the, the VTOL motor is installed. But guess what that means? That means I've got wiring to do and I'll have to install the ESCs for each one of the VTOL motors. So I get to do some building. I'm in missing building and it's time for me to get back and build. And so I'm gonna do that. So here we have our two booms for the VTOL motors. We've got some awesome looking carbon fiber propellers. Look at these. Look at these propellers. They're, they're really quite impressive. Um, they're kind of, I don't, I don't want to say mean looking, not exactly mean looking, but um, very interesting shape, isn't it? That's the, the propellers. There's four of these for a, a VTOL for lifting the plane up into the air and they're all carbon fiber. Some various other equipment. Oh, this will be my extra that I ordered with the plane. This is the basically the landing gear. These are four legs uh, landing gear, which I found is uh, very, very useful to have with a plane like this, especially if you want to put a, uh, a camera underneath, which I will be doing. This, not sure what this is exactly. Just a little bit of soft foam. Um, I, will, I guess we'll find out. Here is our forward propeller. This is a four plus one, not like the VT Bird, which was a tilt rotor. This is a four plus one, which means that there's four motors that only lift and one motor that pushes. Here we have um, screws and, oh, there's our, our pitot tubes for the airspeed sensors. It comes uh, set up for two airspeed sensors for redundancy, one on each wing. Very cool design. Here we have another one of these. I'm thinking this is for uh, the plane landing on the ground if you don't have legs, but I've got the legs, so I'm good. Now, here we have electronic speed control. This is uh, Make Flight Easy 6100, uh, 100 amp ESC for forward motor power. And uh, that's a very nice little piece of equipment there. Love these little connectors on here. So uh, no soldering on one hand, but also they will, they will screw into place. So it will be a very solid and reliable connection, pre-soldered with bullet connectors on the end. Great, I love no soldering. All right, what else have we got in here? Here we have, uh, these little gadgets are very, very interesting and, and quite cool. They go in the wings and I'll show you that later on, but these are to make connecting all the wires up in the wings uh, a lot easier. And so basically you have, um, you know, two ends to the connectors. One end will go uh, out, you know, from, from in the wing mount to, it, uh, to the fuselage and the other one will be connecting to the, to the uh, ESC and the motors and that making the wiring connection so much easier. It's a really nice design. We've got some servos. We've got some uh, ESC mounting pods for the wings. We've got, uh, here we go. So here's two more ESCs for the wings. So I should be looking for one more. There we go. So there we have now four 50 amp ESCs, one for each one of the uh, VTOL motors. Oh, well, let's have a look. Take a look at, at one of these. these. Even these are kind of interesting, these ESCs. These go in these wing mounting pods here. So these wing mounting pods will actually slide onto the end of the wing. And I, I mean, I've got to unscrew this and pop these in, but these, so these ESCs will go in these wing mounting pods. And this is how that works. So they're basically built, built to measure. Basically that, that will go in, so in there. I've got capacitors pre-soldered and there's the ESC itself with three pre-soldered bullet connectors. One, two, three, and 
these solid, reliable wiring connectors, screw-in wiring connectors for the power to the ESC. So there's no risk of cold solders or bad solders and no risk of those things coming out because they will be screwed in tight. So that's a really kind of nice design. I really like that. This one is a, oh, see, just a nice little add-in that they do with this, um, this build. When you build a, a plane like this, you've got your power to the ESCs and other equipment, but you also need to power other things like your flight controller, like your, your airspeed sensor, like your uh, camera, let's say. Well, these guys provide a six volt 10 amp back. So that should, I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be power to the servos. So they've actually made a point to provide um, a complete power solution for the plane. Really well thought through. I think this is why, um, as far as I can see, a lot of people that I've been talking to these days really strongly recommend the Makefly Easy products. Um, they really do a nice job. Okay, we've got a motor in here. Let's see which motor this is. So let me get this out of the out of the box. This is a 5008 400 kV motor. And let's try a different one. Maybe that will come out a little easier. There we go. And it's a Makefly Easy branded motor. Not sure if they're the original manufacturer, but that is they're yeah, beautiful looking motors. Uh, they're probably not um, waterproof, but they're, they're at least protected um, on the top, which is great. And screws, etc. So four of those uh, 500, 5008 400 kV motors. And one more. There's our complete set of motors for VTOL. And then we have here, we have our hunk and great power house for uh, forward propulsion. And this one is an X4120. And it's, if I can read that, which I'm having trouble with, it says 430 KB, it's probably written on the side. Yeah, 4120. You know, a lot of you will know this, but I didn't know this, but the 41, the numbers on a motor are the size in millimeters. So 4120 is basically the size. So that's 4120. This one is 5008. So that's 50 millimeters wide and, and only eight millimeters high. Right, so that's, that's a 40 millimeter wide rotor and a 20 millimeter high rotor. And this is a 50 millimeter wide and eight millimeters high. And that's where the numbers come from on the motors. Again, pre-soldered bullet connectors, uh, not gonna have power issues with this plane. It's a really well put together kit. I can see that although I do have a lot of wiring to do, it's not gonna take me too long to get it all together. Okay, so we've got some, uh, here we go, motor nacelles, um, one for the front right, one for the front left. Okay, we've got some more servos and some more servos. I believe we get uh, ailerons, rudder, uh, elevator on this plane so far. So we've got, I think we found some, so we had one other servo here. So we got five so far. So what will that be? One, two, aileron, maybe two elevator. I kind of hope so. I like having the protection of two elevator servos. Thread lock. They provide thread lock for putting on the screws to make sure the screws don't come loose. I will absolutely be making sure that I use that. It's so important. Anything, screws that hold motors down uh, in particular, and then a little connection of quick connect, quick release connectors as well. It's so nice that they provide something simple and like and necessary, fundamentally necessary like thread lock. Uh, we've got glue here. They provide some standard foam glue. We've done the first layer. <laughs> Let's get to the good stuff. Oh boy, 
here we have okay we have two elevators and i don't see where i don't see where the servos go that's really kind of interesting but uh, it definitely has control surfaces here so it'll be interesting to see how that works make flight easy has a whole set of videos about how to put this whole plane together Unfortunately, most of it, um, the audio is uh, in Chinese, although I have some help with that, but uh, you can watch it and most of what you need to see is what they do, not what they say. And, but it will be interesting to see, I'm sure in the video it will explain how the elevators work. We've got a tail plane. Oh, I, I really love this. This is so good. Well, here we can see where the servo for the rudder goes. So there's one servo for the rudder and the tail plane disconnects like this. But look at this. This is removable. So for transportation purposes with quick click release um, connectors and a solid carbon fiber rod to connect to the main part of the fuselage, this will mean that I can fit it in my car, which you know, with some of my bigger planes is a challenge, but I love the fact that it's, it's, you can take it apart. Um, here's how the, how the, uh, the elevator will connect, connect onto the back of the plane. And interestingly, this is loose. So there's work I need to do, including, uh, gluing and wiring. And I'm going to say, seems to me that that's somehow where the uh, servos go for the rudder so we'll see how that goes but um, I got a feeling it might be direct drive and if it is that'd be great because honestly I really think it's a good idea so we'll see um, we'll see more of that I'll probably won't make a complete build video but I might drop in and make some videos about some of the key um, interesting parts of the build really nice and you know, let's see if you can see it. I don't think you can, but what I can see here is lots of carbon fiber inside the wings, which is great. So along this, this car, there's basically two spars and they go, so this, this smaller spar, which is the rear spar, and that will be great to stop flexing, um, goes along here and stops here. But then there is another internal spar that goes across here and up here and stops all the way up here. So even the back part of the wing has protection. Uh, and then this, the front spar goes all the way. I can see all the way down to here. So it's basically the full span of the wing has carbon fiber inside it, which is really, really cool. Have a quick look inside the bag. This plane comes as, as, a, as a version which is just a plane. And so for that version, I believe you would leave this piece of foam in. But for the VTOL version, this will come out and this will be where these guys go in. It sits a little proud of the of the base of the wing. That's but that's how the the uh, motor mount will go for the VTOL motors with this very interesting wiring um, situation. The wires will feed through here from the wing and this quick connect connector that needs to go on here will feed through this component, this compartment here. And then some of the wires will come out here and that little uh, wiring connector will provide the wires that go in here to the uh, to the VTOL motors and then more wires will come over here and this is the interesting part I'm just going to remove that so I don't make any mess but this is where the pitot tube comes out because there is intended to be an airspeed sensor mounted in here and there's a pitot tube hole which will extend out beyond the front of the wing there and then the servo will mount in here for the aileron. So uh, that's your complete wing and that's how the wiring goes. And you know, there, obviously there is wiring to do, but it's mostly just a question of 
feeding the wires through and connecting them up. I am very pleased to see that there's no soldering. Uh, lots of threading and screwing of little screws here and there, but um, yeah, that should be good. Now, one thing I do so, you know what? I was gonna say that it looked like we were just going with foam hinges on the aileron, but uh, it clearly it's not. Um, there are brackets here or holes in the, the, the wing there built for uh, hinges. And in fact, you can see it on the tail plane as well. There's little mounting slots here that are for real hinges. So it's not just gonna be the foam hinge, it's gonna be real hinges. And uh, I'm very happy to see that, very happy. Another wing, the same as the other one. Just interesting to note, and I'll just point this one out again. There's a second mounting spot slot here for uh, airspeed sensor pitot tube for two airspeed sensors on this plane um, so that you can have redundant airspeed sensors just built in out of the box. I often find with my planes, I often put airspeed sensors on and I have to figure out how to mount them and put holes in myself. Just so nice that it's, it's done and it's ready sort of out of the box. And here we have the piece of resistance, the piece de resistance. Uh, this is the fuselage. So let's, uh, let's take a look at this. You know, this is going to be useful. This might even, I may even be able to use this for transport. If this plane unplugs and plugs the way I think it is, I should be able to use this box for carrying this plane around. That is so good. It's really well packed. Um, not a not a ding. I mean, the box itself had a couple of dings on it, but inside, the foam completely surrounds the plane. There's there's nothing. Uh, there's not a single uh, imperfection or or transport any transportation damage. It's really nicely done. A mounting hatch for the underneath. Another mounting hatch for the cavernous equipment bay and the top of the plane here. Just beautiful. Um, that will be, there's, there's room here to put a camera. One of the examples they show using a Sony, uh, a seven camera. And as you can see, there's, there's different cutouts available for a mounting a full size camera in the bay here. But also, um, there's, this is where the flight controller goes. Uh, I'll be putting the Cheltec H743 flight controller. Um, massive amount of space in here, um, space for the, pop that out, space for batteries, multiple batteries. Um, oh, okay, so it's it's actually come, oh, you know, this is very cool too. Uh, I, I won't pull it apart, but I'll just show you that the two halves are not actually glued together. So there's there's a nose section, and in fact, the motor gets mounted here at the front. So, so this won't be used, but the motor, the, the, the two halves of the fuselage are not glued. And in some respects, you know, it's kind of helpful when it is glued, but it also makes it so much easier to install things and put everything in when you can take the whole fuselage apart as part of the installation process. And so that pops in there, part of the equipment. Oh, this is, this is this uh, connector for connecting on the tail plane at the back. And there we go. So, so it would be so nice to be able to put everything in to thread wires and that kind of stuff through to the back of the plane, get it all set up the way I want, and then glue it together. And, uh, oh, that's interesting. So there's a completely separate bay here at the back with, with a downward facing bay with a cover that goes on the bottom slots in. This is for the GPS. And again, this is about getting the wiring in and organized, but there's a 
beautiful nice big bay for the GPS another good design item you know I, I built some uh, previous planes before where you know you have a huge VTOL that's going to have a flight controller in it and there's no obvious place to put the GPS or the place where they've designed the GPS is where all the wiring is going to be there's going to be an awful lot of wiring here in the center of the plane in the equipment bay and it's just so nice that there's a, a spot right here in the back for the GPS that's you know not near any of the other wiring or electronics so that's really really good uh, that's the front hatch there okay and this is the main equipment bay hatch this hatch goes on here and provides access to this huge compartment at the back here all right well we're going to get to the end here because we've got our our front nose which we don't need because we're going to be mounting a motor at the front of the plane and then lastly here's a box of goodies a bag of goodies and this now is the remains of the plane and honestly i really i love this this plane once i put all of the equipment in is absolutely going to be to fit back in the box for transportation purposes which is just going to be so nice because i'm going to have two of these and i'm going to have to take two of them out to the to the field at one time and i don't i wasn't sure how that was going to work now i know it's it's going to work this is a really nicely well designed so here is that little equipment um bay that goes in the front of the fuselage so that equipment bay slide in there all right so so now we have this plate and this ah oh my goodness okay so this is for communications equipment this bay here is for communications equipment this hole at here is for an antenna and then that gives you a nice little case that will screw on top but is fairly easily accessible when and if you need to get at your radio and for example i'm fairly sure that i'll be putting a telemetry radio right there with an antenna at the top um, that is a really nice design we have a collection of uh, of little plates and mounting brackets here they all seem to be fairly solid nicely cut out for example that will be a cover over an esc with plenty of air holes for ventilation etc here we have clips for firmly clipping the hatches onto the plane they're not magnetic which is great because i mean magnets are kind of handy but magnets get in the way of your electronics so uh, mechanical clips for clipping things together we've got solid mounting bracket i'm thinking that's for mounting that's going to be the motor mount we've got cover plates for uh, covering the servos cover the server keep them secure but also give um, ready access if required because they screw in and out and they're not just glued on which is potentially problematic this looks like a motor mount i'm gonna say that clicks in there or from the back maybe it goes from the back yes it goes from the back so there's your motor mount uh-oh okay we do have some soldering girls and boys uh here we have the quick release connectors for the wings and and the wires on here will require soldering so that will be i'll set a solid session aside get everything ready and make sure that i'm ready when i have to do the soldering because that's going to have to be done very carefully and and well the soldering needs to be top notch a really good job uh, a huge amount of servo wires and connectors um, for running servos out to the wings some 14 awg power wires and straps for strapping in the battery i think we have a plane 
So that will go on there like that with the this. The way that this clicks in together is so the, the tail plane will just simply clip on and click in and then is removable, which is just so good. That clips out, clips in. The elevators clip on and clip off. And so the wings. in and click together once I install the quick connect clicks which are somewhere over there in one of those bags but that there's your plane oh and like I said those sheets of reinforcement plastic will go over here over this part of the wing to protect the wing against some stress and then we'll give it some color probably with some stickers uh, white is so hard to see in the air and we definitely want to be able to see this beautiful plane fly. So There it is Make fly easy MFE Striver mini VTOL four plus one uh, VTOL plane that I'm going to be using for my plane follow uh, development and testing and uh, look forward to some build videos, I'm gonna have a lot of fun putting this together, putting another one together, and then testing them and flying them in hopefully uh, later on in the summer. Tim the Plane Man, over and out.